Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of New York and London sugar markets. It's raw sugar in New York. The core of the bullish support here for the market during summer going into November had been the lower time of the December 2020 to April 2021 bullish shift pitchfork, currently at 1802. I've highlighted the whole pitchfork in blue, dark blue, so you can visualize the times more clearly as they will become more evidently more important over time. This lower time caused some very prominent rises with the market gapping higher and pushing up over all the moving averages, um, plus the significant February 2021 high at 1894, the congestion at 1964, and finally the middle time of the same big bullish shift pitchfork currently at 2031. However, prices peaked in no mid-November at the congestion at 2047, last seen capping the market back in April. This led to some sideways action, which included a pipe bottom in late November, based around the congestion at 1964. By late December, this congestion was enough to either be a possible double top or a bullish halfway hesitation. The market chose the bullish halfway hesitation, managing to reach the primary target easily in the 2050 area, but not able to manage to the secondary harder to reach target up at 22 even. The peak happened on the last session before Christmas with an indecisive spinning top right at the top of the market. The fall thereafter punched down through the middle time and all the way down to the combination of the rising medium moving average, currently 1897, and the barely rising long moving average, currently 1891, who together coincidentally were just happening to be making a golden cross at the same time at the start of last week, causing prices to revert back upwards to the comfort of the congestion at 1964. This has left us with an interesting situation as it can be perceived that this subsequent rally could be the beginnings of the formation of a second shoulder in a November 2022 to date possible head and shoulders top. Now it is way way too early to call it there. Alternatively it could be something else completely but in either case we would need some more price action development to take place to ascertain what is the next pattern? Europe White Sugar in London. Changeovers produced some strange events here. Since mid September, this market has been dominated by the one action, the changeover gap that happened back then. Now, one can say a lot of things about what happened beforehand, but that changeover gap seen here on a continuous daily chart is really big. There has been a number of attempts since to try and fill it, but each time the market stretched higher, it ran short because of another changeover. Such a move was most recently seen in December. Since that gap lower, prices have fallen down to the lower time, currently at 5.33.20, where they created a pipe bottom over the weekend before last, before moving higher. I've highlighted the bullish shift pitchfork in dark blue to aid conversation. However, the move higher was stymied in the middle of last week with a possible shooting star pattern, type 1 bearish. Yet this did not last. I suspect that was due to the rising lower tine impacting on the approach of the market to the lower tine. And last Friday we had a combined key reversal up and bullish engulfing pattern. This action led prices to open, to gap open, is a more accurate description, after yet another changeover, higher this time over all the moving average and with seemingly little in the way topside by its own self-confidence until the middle sign, currently 564 and a half of the same bullish shift pitchfork, as well as the February 2017 high of 565 even. It'd be interesting to see if the market will take advantage of such an opportunity during this week. Sugar white premium spread. As the new year starts, the chart continues to yet again be a very colourful one with many things going on all at the same time. I've previously spoken about two big picture items seen here on this weekly chart. We have the recurring big old bullish Andrews pitchfork from 2019 to 2021, highlighted in dark blue. With the market currently in between the lower time below, currently 86 and three quarters, and actually, actually maybe 86 and a quarter, 
and the middle tie and above currently 160 and a half. Now though breached in the past, this is still showing the overall major bullish angle of attack. We also have an ascending expanding wedge pattern highlighted in bright red trend lines well above the market that was formed since mid-April to late November 2022 and that's currently at 154 and three quarters to right off the top of my weekly chart. To me it was and still is not the best looking of such wedge patterns but it is also still there and it comes with all the possibilities such a pattern can invoke. A sub point to this had been the monthly key reversal down we saw in September. Despite what has happened since, which seems to sort of justify this selection, support it, please still take any ideas based on this monthly key reversal with a huge pinch of salt, as the earlier monthly key reversal down we saw in July did not work out so well. Nevertheless, nevertheless it was genuine at the time. The most recent activity has been the small reactionary move back up, started at the end of November last year, after the earlier huge counter to the counter weekly key reversal down which offset as it did by a country mold the previous week's immediate countering bullish engulfing pattern and which in turn the week prior to that had been a weekly bearish engulfing pattern just and bear spike in all this the recent capping top had been the neckline of the big june 2021 to may 2022 reverse head and shoulders pattern which i've highlighted in bright green currently at 145 and a half Interestingly, recent action justified part of my commentary made something like 10 weeks ago, but I quote, Below the long moving average, which is currently 125 and three quarters, we have really nothing much until the late April, early May congestion based around the lesser Fibonacci lines at 104.5 and, and 107.5. And the core of this congestion is the 102 to 107 zone, end of quote. But I continued, and I quote, so with all these actions and points, it's time to look at possible targets below for the break, below the ascending expanding wedge pattern. Thus, a potential target X on the downside will be in the 102 zone, just below the late April to early May congestion. End of quote. Nine weeks ago, prices dropped down to reach the primary target 102. They actually ended up quite a way below it, but due to overrunning. However, I was mindful back then and since that we were approaching the lower time below, currently 86 and a quarter, and again highlighted in dark blue. And that's of the big 2019 to 2021 bullish Andrews picture, as well as the neckline of the February to September 2020 head and shoulders top, currently 75 and three quarters, which is below the lower time now and is highlighted in pink. I suspected some five weeks ago that this one might be important, hence the highlighting. In case you're interested, the secondary hard to reach target X1 for the expanding wedge pattern is way down in the 46 and three quarter zone. This brings us to last week's action, which was, dumb, which was a combined indecisive spinning top, but also a bullish harami. It will be interesting to see how any follow through higher this week. Now, four weeks ago, I said, and I quote the following, and I quote, it has crossed my mind that the perhaps just perhaps the action since the middle of november might be building up to be a possible bear flag or bearish halfway hesitation it is early yet to really even think about this but i wish to lodge the thought in your mind in case it turns out to be something end of quote well things have moved on since then and the danger from such a pattern has grown this market therefore deserves to be watched carefully just in case we do see a break lower and the opportunity for a possible big bear flag. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.